We are in chapter 12 and we are learning about the Renaissance and Reformation and today we will learn about uh, the printing press and it is in section 2.3. Have your textbooks ready or you can log into our website and from our website you log into Clever, Clever to Cengage and from Cengage Learning it will lead you to our National Geographic book and go ahead log in with your student account and password. From the left side, Unit 5, Chapter 12, Section 2, Lesson 3, and that is in page 340, pages 340 to 41. The chapter's essential question is how did new ways of thinking transform European culture? And the objective of this lesson is to describe how the print press greatly quickened the spread of Renaissance ideas and information. Gutenberg invented the printing press in 1450. So lesson 2.3 discusses how the invention of the printing press resulted in an information explosion or how it went viral in our language today. Johann Gutenberg was born in 1468 in Germany and came from a wealthy family. From about 1434 to 1444, Gutenberg lived at Strasbourg, where he worked as a goldsmith, um, gem cutting, and taught crafts to students as well. He's a teacher. Gutenberg invented the printing press, revolutionized the printing process. So he is credited with the invention of a new kind of ink for his printing press. The ink had to adhere well to the metal type, so it is needed to be an oil-based ink. This ink was more durable than water-based inks that had previously been used. Well, at the same time when he developed this new ink, it was also the time when paper was uh, developed. And because of this, um, he was able to print uh, a Latin version of the Bible in 1455 and uh, it went viral. A lot of people um, caught the attend work. There was a perfect timing of the development of ink and the manufacturing of paper. So Gutenberg was able to print uh, a new version of the Latin Bible in 1455 known as the Gutenberg Bible. He tried to keep this, of course, a secret first, but eventually it caught people's attention. And like Renaissance, the technology of a new printing press is spread so quickly. Here's a, a basic design of the Gutenberg printer. Um, there are four parts here. The first one is the type box. The printer arranges the letters in the type box. And there's an ink ball that they use. The printer uses the ink ball to apply an oil-based ink onto the type which was also invented by Gutenberg. We have the paper holder. The printer inserts the paper and the holder and it folds it onto an ink type. And the last part is the press. The printer rolls the type box under the press and uses the handle to imprint letters onto the paper. Well, I guess the key information that I want you to take away from this lesson is that the invention of this printing press resulted into an information explosion throughout Europe. Prior to this, information is limited to just the nobles and the church officials. So books were printed and these books were cheaper, of course, um, than handmade copies because um, you can print them uh, massively. There's like a mass production of this. Because of the mass production of books, ideas spread quickly. As more books became available, more people learned to read and more universities were, were founded. In addition, libraries became better stocked with reliable information which helped in the advancement of science, technology, and scholarship. So many of the first printed books were religious and classical works, but a demand for less scholarly reading soon grew. The Gutenberg Bible that was mentioned a while ago contains about 1,286 pages and about 42 lines on each page, and that is big. It was uh, remarkable for, for its neat, even letters and hand-printed illustrations of nature. Gutenberg printed 200 copies of his Bible, of which about 50 
Of these 200 copies survive today, which I'm sure are very expensive. And of course, we will learn more about the impact of this uh, printing of the Bible to our next section when we discuss about the Reformation. Indeed, the invention of the printing press is a turning point in history. It transformed the way people acquire information, process them, and even pass them to, to others. So it massively improved the quality of life. And because of this, there are a lot of advances, just like how, what I mentioned a while ago, advances in technology, science, religion, literature, entertainment, and on and on. Now, before we go on to the review and assess questions, let's uh, listen to the opinions of the experts about the impact of the printing press, not only to uh, the European culture, but also to humanity in general. Everybody knows the story of Gutenberg and his printing press. Nonetheless, it's still one of the greatest stories in the history of invention. I believe that the printing press was our species' intellectual Big Bang. Knowledge, up to that point, was the property only of a small number of people, whether it be royalty or a religious order. And the ability to produce books is severely limited because to produce a book, a person has to sit with one book and painstakingly copy it into a second version. They were fantastically expensive. They took a really long time to make. They were prone to transcription errors that would propagate from volume to volume. And these uh, limiting factors kept them from being distributed to people. Gutenberg saw an opportunity. He knew it was possible to print in a new way that would make it less expensive. He saw this as a tremendous money-making opportunity. Gutenberg has the idea for a movable type. Movable type, where you didn't have to make new ones for each page. You could just arrange the letters, and then you could print as many pages as you want. Once movable type came into play and the production costs went down, knowledge flourished. The ability to uh, have access to this world of knowledge uh, was absolutely uh, transformational for Europe. So you had this huge boom in literacy, and uh, with the awareness that there was such a thing as a book, became curiosity about what was going on around the world. If you look at the first couple of hundred years of what today we'd call literature, it wasn't religious like the Bible. Almost all of it was travel literature. People wanted to explore. If they couldn't personally leave their homes, they wanted to explore through knowledge. The notion of pressing blocks against paper to make uh, images or text had been around and, and really come from China, but no one had ever turned it into a real manufacturing process. That's the difference. It's that he could make thousands of them and uh, make them quickly and efficiently. It plants the seed of the notion that you can get machines to do what people used to do. You start to see the end of the artisan era and the beginning of the manufacturing era. And you think about uh, the impact that had, it's really hard to underestimate it. Gutenberg's printing press was so revolutionary. His name certainly lives on as one of the great inventors of human history. Now let's go to the review and assess questions for number one, reading check. How did the printing press help spread information? And number two, investigate visuals. Based on the diagram and what you have learned about the printing press, how do you think the new invention improved printers' lives? When I say printers, we are referring to the people who prints. Number three, analyze cause and effect. What happened once the printing press made books more widely available? Actually, that is a very 
simple or easy question. What happened once a printing press made books more widely available? Now go ahead, go to our Google Classroom right now and find the review and assess assignment, chapter 12, section 2, and answer the review and assess questions. Of course, don't forget to fill up all the basic information, your last name, your first name, class period, and the date. And um, as you are filling up the basic information, be sure that you will also put the key vocabs definition. And we have two key vocabs here, the printing press and Johan Gutenberg or Johan Gutenberg. And don't forget to put the title of the lesson as well. And obviously the answers to the review and assess questions on the right side. Correct answers in complete sentences will obviously get a full credit. Now, don't forget to write your responses in complete sentences if you are aiming for that full credit score. And that's our lesson for Chapter 12, Section 2.3, The Printing Press.